What's up YouTube? My name is Kamar. This is Gidget's Gadgets and I got another review here for you. This is a comparison video for LED headlights. I got an 07 Pathfinder that I'm changing the lights on. They, they are halogen, standard halogen lights, so I'm changing them to LEDs. And I wanted to see if there was really a difference between uh, highest rated and highest price. Uh, this Infiteri, hopefully, hopefully I'm saying that right, Infiteri LED headlights are very highly rated on Amazon, on Walmart, on uh, Google itself. You can look up this brand and they're really high, highly rated. Um, I don't know if that's because they're cheap. Maybe that's the, pre the reason why they're cheap and you know everyone can get them so they rate them really high. And this is like one of the most expensive LED headlights that there are out there. Uh, the Puptos Silver Lux uh, high power LEDs. These are uh, retail that I got them for was 261 or 269 I'm sorry um, so these are really really expensive and these are $22 so there's like more than 10 times the price difference here and I'm hoping that there's at least 10 times or at least twice the brightness compared to to these cheaper ones these ones should be way brighter and just have a better uh, look to them so let's go ahead and open them up um, and see what we got but before we do that please like share and subscribe uh, it really helps my channel and I would really appreciate it thank you guys so let's go ahead and open these up okay let's do the So there's not much to these ones. Uh, there's not there's not a ballast. I believe the ballast is inside here. The heat sink is right here also. Um, yeah, they look pretty basic for LED headlights. I don't necessarily know uh, what they should be looking like because I've never had these before. But we're gonna go ahead and compare them. So here are these ones here. Uh, let's see, I can't get them to stand up. So let me also say it has a fan here with the heat sink there. Uh, this just is like a plug and play. There's no, there's nothing extra to put to this. Just plug it in and it should work. All right. So right away, you know, first things first, this thing is really substantial. It's heavy. Um, I believe it's because that ballast is on there too, but even with without taking the ballast, with taking the ballast off, this thing is super heavy. Um, you can tell there's a there's a huge difference in quality here. Um, just in just in basic looks. This is just the looks. I don't I haven't tried it yet. It just looks better. It looks like it will perform better. The LEDs, there's like four little LEDs, four and four. So there's eight total. Uh, this has on three sides like one long LED on three sides of it so I'm sure one of those is the high beam and I guess that this would be, I don't know exactly which one but we're gonna find out um, which one's the high beam but from that comparison right there this is much heavier it feels sturdier it feels like it can hold uh, lots of power and then it has these uh, heat sinks here that's like a flexible heat sink you can kind of bend it to wherever you want so wherever it fits in your car, you can kind of just go ahead and bend it to where it is, which is really cool. And we got the ballast here. So it's 12 to 24 volts. I don't know if it takes 12 and then puts it out to 24. It just says DC 12 to 24 volts. I don't know. Um, I'll just have to figure out where I'm gonna mount this at. And then here's the other one. Got some instructions here. But um, just on, on basic, on the basics, this one is, it feels, it just feels better. It feels like it's substantial. It'll work better. This is what I think. I don't know. I'm hoping um, that's a really expensive price for something like this. Let's go ahead and really look at it and uh, see if we have some differences that make any sense. This is a standard light. Let's just go ahead and throw the brights on. Alright, so the inventories here are, I don't know, the pattern is super weird. It doesn't seem like it 
it's going to be a beam at all. It's just going to shoot light everywhere. I'm sure that makes it brighter, but it doesn't make it accurate. It just is what it is, I guess. Let's try the brights and see if there's a difference. There's the brights. Regular, brights, regular. I don't know. I don't... I don't know how this is going to perform. It doesn't look like it's going to perform very well. Okay, so right away I can tell the difference with the light. This one has more of a pattern. It's not super flat like you would get in a, like a, you know, a car that comes with LED headlights, but the pattern already is so much better. It's just not shooting all over the place and you can kind of tell where it's defined. It's it's kind of pointing in in a line. So that's a difference also because the other one it was just like you couldn't really tell that it was the brights were on they kind of just dispersed everywhere they just were all over the place so you'd be blinding people in front of you instead of just lighting up the road. All right let's get out and get a real world experience of these lights it's getting dark outside now the area I chose is the darkest area I could find in my area this is about 10 minutes or 20 minutes from where I live and we can still see how good or how bad the lights are so these are the standard lights low beam high beam i believe that the reason why these are going to shoot farther than the other ones which you'll see in a second here is maybe because of how the light on the leds are set up and how this older vehicle doesn't have uh like projector like a projector frame so i don't know but here's the Infantry, which I didn't expect a lot from this. You can't expect a lot from a $22 light. I, I don't know where all the good comments are coming from, but maybe because it looks good from afar, but it doesn't it doesn't perform very well. And it kind of just kind of goes to show that you gotta you gotta spend a little more to get what you want and to get a quality product. This thing is just kind of it is just what it is. It doesn't shoot as far, it's just not as not as bright as I thought it was going to be for an LED. Now here are the Putkos, and you really can't tell the difference in the camera, but it does. There is a huge difference. I did try to get some footage of it in the car; it didn't work out. But these are definitely a high quality set of LEDs. They just are. They're just better and they're nicer. This is something you would want in your car, especially to actually have light performance in your car. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any uh, products you'd like me to review, please put it in the comments, and hopefully I can get to those. Thank you guys.